and check this one out. Did you get a U? Yes, get a U, yes. I picked my same U. I said U is equal to e to the 2x, right? Because that U is inside of cosine, right? Remember we talked about a couple different things. Typically, we want to first look at like the denominator if we have a rational expression. Second thing is if we look at like a binomial squared, you want to look at that as u. Under a radical or under um, or in a side of a trigonometric function are good ideas to look at first, to investigate first. So let's see how far we can go with this. So I do du, uh, dx on both sides. Integrating e to the x is just e to the, I'm sorry, de deriving e to the x is just e to the x, but it is a chain rule. So therefore, this is e to the 2x times 2, which is d to the u 2, e to the 2x. I go back over here. Um, and uh, you can see that I have that, but I don't have my 2. So I'll just divide by 2 on both sides. <coughs> Question? The two? That 2? Yeah. The chain rule. Because if you have the chain rule, like uh, um, when you have a function, like e to the 2x, that is inside your function. That is, it's e to the u. So if you're going to differentiate, that's equal to, um, so d over du is going to equal e to the u times u um, prime, since the derivative, right? Chain rule. You take the derivative, and then you multiply by the derivative of the inside function. Going back, just that's just old, old differentiation rules. Chain rule. Take the derivative, multiply by the uh, derivative of the inside function, um, and hence well, we're going to actually practice some of that again uh, either tonight as well. So uh, we have that, which we're good in this case. You can see we have our e to the. Where did I didn't write my dx? You got to be careful with that. So I have e to my two x dx, which I'm good. So therefore, I have a one half. Interval of cosine of u, d to u. Can I integrate the cosine? Of course I can. Sine of um, u plus c. And then I just plug in my sine, which is 1 half. Sine of e to the 2x plus c. All right. 